Now to take you back, last time, Mickey Stantonio, washing up detective. <laughs> sorry, washed up detective. So important to get the tenses right. Woke one morning in his Philadelphia motel to find a congressman's penis in a box. Just as that penis was about to reveal which congressman it belonged to, it was wang by an as-yet unknown assailant, leaving Mickey Stantanio P.I. to investigate. The Congressman's Penis, Chapter 2, The Crotch of Despair. Mickey Stantanio ran out of menopausal prenders onto the intersection at 13th and Gooch. There was no sign of that congressman's penis, not so much as a single stray foreskin. Hey, lady, he shouted at a passing man. <laughs> you schmuck, replied the man. I'm, I'm sorry, apologized Stantanio. I, 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 uh, I just had breakfast. That's no excuse, you mongrel screwing ball strain, said, said the man. Fair punch, said Stantanio, but you are wearing a dress, and you've, you've got a cracking set of... Hey, have some respect for a dame, said the man. Sorry, sir. Uh, I'm Mickey Stantanio, private investigator. What's your name? Bridget Paranofskaya. That's a funny name for a guy around these parts. Who says I'm a guy? You did. Oh, yeah, I'm always getting them mixed up. No, I'm a gal. That's the one gal. You were right first time. Man, has that little confusion got me into some scrapes. Mickey Stantanio P.I. felt a surge of confidence coursing through his detective's veins. He still had it. It might only have been a small thing like telling a guy from a girl, but he still had it. That's the old Mickey he cuddled himself. I'm going to find that penis and reattach it to the right congressman. <laughs> what did you say, asked Bridget, sultrily sucking on a pickled herring? Did I say that out loud, asked Mickey. You did, loud as a fluorescent chicken in a farmyard full of grey ducks. Care to explain? Maybe you'd like to care to explain, lady, exploded Stantanio. His old confidence had not just come back. It had put its slippers on, helped itself to a beer from the refrigerator, and resoundingly broken wind on the sofa. It had come home to stay. Lady, tell me straight. Have you seen a congressman's penis? Why, sure I have. Where was it? Who was it with? Where did it go? I'll answer those questions in turn, she said. One, it was on a congressman. Two, it was with the congressman. And three, do you want me to draw you a f diagram? <laughs> uh, no need, lady. I think we might be talking about different congressmen's penises here. I need to find that penis. I'm going to split, Miss Paranofskaya. Paranofskaya. What is that? Venezuelan? Russian. Okay. Sure, Miss Paranofskaya. What is that, Venezuelan? There was an awkward pause in that Philadelphian air. Um, sorry, said Mickey Stantanio. So, the penis. Long story. You got a smoke? Yeah, I got smoke, said Bridget. I got this canister of the stuff from a fire at a rubber factory. I was taking it over to my mother's hospice. She loves the smell of burning tire. Who doesn't, said Mickey, breathing in the fumes. Apart from old Joey Struber, of course. The late old Joey Struber. Joey Struber's dead, asked Bridget. Yeah, did you know him? No. Why did you ask if he was dead? Um, in case I ever meet him. How did he die? Well, he was working undercover as the wheel on an illegal dump truck. Driver tried to speed away from the cops at a junction. Wheel spin. Left Joey marks all over the road. Still, it's the way he would have wanted to go. Really? Yep. Piece the crap out of being eaten by a communist in a crocodile outfit. And Joey saw it as an either or. So he died with a smile on his face. Which sounds like he died with a dump truck on his face. That too, sweet cakes. That too. So, the penis. I found it this morning, said Mickey. It's a congressman's penis. No doubt about it. How do you know, asked the lady, kicking her Wellington boots against a nearby tramp to wear them in for a hard winter's booting. When you've been in this game as long as I have, said Mickey, you just know. You just know. So, lady, where do you think we might find a congressman's penis around here? I got a suggestion for you, grunted the lady, extricating her leg from the mouth of an irate tramp. You ain't gonna find <laughs> a penis that small in the city this big. You need to do this by a process of elimination. To work out who is and who isn't missing a penis, you need to see as many congressmen in as trouserless state as possible. What, you mean go to Idaho and hang around at bus stops? No, I mean go to Congress. I like your thinking, sizzly lips, he guzzled, arrogantly flicking the ash from her cigarette before her face caught fire again. But a congressman with no penis? Isn't that just a congresswoman? Um, not, ne not necessarily, Mickey Stantanio, she said. Not necessarily. Anyway, three days and one very long donkey ride later, Mickey Stantanio and Bridget rode into Washington. Hotly pursued by an angry donkey rental salesman shouting, You only booked it for a f***ing hour, you pair of thieving shitbags! You know more than you're letting on, don't you, lady, said Mickey, realizing he was conversationally remortgaging himself, but unsure about the interest rate. 
Sure I do, Mickey. I got a degree in 17th century French literature. I could tell you all about Molière, but I didn't think you'd be interested, so I didn't let on. Anyway, this can wait. We gotta break into Congress and start looking at some penises. But that congressman's penis is gonna be little more than an on-pastry sausage roll for the rest of its life. To be continued. <laughs> <laughs>